All right, what's going on guys? Babs here. We are going to do uh, a little ram putt tutorial here, um, courtesy of some friends on YouTube that have been asking how I go about uh, doing ram putts. And for the most part, it's just gonna involve some, you know, minor uphill, downhill calculations just to get a base aim number. And then from there, it's about adding a little power and learning your lines and slowly developing a sense of what's happening on the green so you can build more confidence in sinking these short putts. So here we go. So here we're on pebble number one back pin. Um, and I'm just looking at these numbers real quick and I get roughly 24% uh, on the 30 scale or you know 48% on the 50 scale. And what you kind of look at when you're when you're looking at ramp when I ramp putt, I'm I'm looking at angles. And what I mean by that is if I take a screenshot of this and I use this imagine I use the white line, but then I draw an imaginary line from the hole to the ball, and I look at this angle and I ask myself, does this angle right here look too low when it's coming in? That's usually what I ask myself. Um, another way you can possibly do this, if you wanted to, um, is, you know, we can take the elevation, and if it's uphill, you subtract, sorry, you take the distance, and if it's uphill, subtract the elevation. If it's downhill, add the elevation. So, in all retrospect, in doing that, we're going to look at this real quick. Move this off to the side. Bam. Done. So, now let's go back to the game. And we have our calculator, get rid of that. So 5.6 minus 1.4. And the add pops up and it's annoying. And we get 4.2. So if we're looking at this, you know, JC Sneed wise, that's 10. So half of that would be roughly five. And then I'll just move it in slightly and I'll say, okay, what does that look like? Does that look like a good number for me to ramp up this in? Maybe bring it down a little more and you start to slowly develop your eyes on how you're gonna do this. And if I was to ram putt, I'd basically just add four or 5% to this putt. And of course I'm misting a little late. And that's simply because the dots are slower. And that's why I did that. All right, so we restarted the game, got ourselves in roughly a similar position, but same side of the hole, maybe a little bit faster dots. So I'm going to calculate this real quick. 7.2, get rid of the add, minus 1.2, we get six. So again, 10, take half, six would be right out here. Looking at that line saying, is that line a little low? Um, again, if I was to look at this, this is what I'd be looking at right here, 54%. Um, if I had anything lower, this is my 15 scale, so three, four, five, six. And you know, every time you change this number right here, all of this changes for you, if that makes sense. So if I were to put this at nine, see now all the numbers change automatically every time you change the green speed on this calculator. So you can do it very efficiently. So we'll put it back on 12 and we're getting at six. That's for a ram putt because I'm adding four or 5%. If I were to calculate this putt normally, take the dot speed and I'm gonna stop it right there, I get 4.2, which is roughly nine, which is way out here. And that's if I'm gonna hit it at speed, but I'm not trying to do that with a ram putt. So I get five, maybe six. Looking at this putt, that looks like a good line for a ram. If I'm gonna ram this, I'm gonna add 5%, so about 59, 60%. Early misting. And we're right there. So, you know, it's, it's not foolproof when it comes to this right here. This is a gauge to get you in a good position to look at a line to say, okay, how can I make an adjustment from these numbers with the added power and then go from there all right we got another restart here and this one is going to be more of a downhill putt so i'm looking at vertical dots they're kind of moving against the break which will keep it straighter than normal and i'm looking at these dots and they're not moving a whole bunch um, but again 5.2 plus 
2.5 because we're downhill and we're looking at 7.7, .7, which would be right in this ballpark right here. But that angle looks really high, especially the way these vertical dots are moving. So if I were to do this number, this would be 20%. If I'm gonna add 5% to this, I can't aim way out here. I need to bring this down and assess my line right in this area. So again, this is just a rough estimate to say, make your decision help you on how you're gonna pick a line. And as I said earlier, I usually do this by eyesight. You know, I take these numbers and I do it in my head and I get an idea, okay, maybe that'll be a good number. And then I'll just add 5% to this and let the ball drift towards the hole. But it's a matter of, of going over things and slowly training your eyes to see what you need to see. And that way you can slowly develop uh, more feel, more confidence in what you're looking at and making sure that your decisions are the right decisions. And now we change the course up a bit. I put ourselves on Congo number one. And again, you know, I'm looking at this five feet and I go to my quick reference guide and I say, okay, five feet is roughly 36%. And so that's kind of, you know, what I look at. If I'm going to aim at 4 or 5%, you know, I'm going to hit it 40%, 41%. So that's where I'm looking at my quick reference guide again. Then again, this would just be 4.9. So 4.9 would be, you know, right in this ballpark here. Looking at that angle, it may look a little high. Bring it down a little. Looking at it, going to hit it 41%, 42%, early misting. and we're in the hole. And so that's kind of how I'm, I'm doing these things right quick like, actually, you know, let's put it on the green here, real quick like. And here we uh, quickly move to number two, and this is sometimes a putt people will get uh, if they end up on this hill and it rolls down and it's a downhill putt. And so here we're looking at basically six. So we take 10, five, six, Looking at this, if I were to calculate that, that'd be roughly 40% power, maybe 45. And so I'll, I just assess the line and this angle that I'm creating. And then you can see it's downhill at the beginning as it travels, it becomes uphill at the end. So again, we're looking at five. Oh, I love when that happens and it's gonna cut off. <laughs> Only this game, great. So now I gotta restart the damn thing. Ah, God, WGT's a pain in the ass. All right, let's restart this real quick. This is so stupid. And we're back. Uh, I apologize for my language earlier. WGT gets uh, frustrating with that stupid message. It's the only game that does that. So here we go, back in the zone. Looking at eight down one, so we're gonna add that and make it nine. So that's 10 right here. So nine is just under, shade under. Wanna look at this angle. And again, when I'm referring to angle, I'm referring to, you know, what I'm drawing between the white line. Oh, that's not a good line. <laughs> <laughs> if I do it with my finger and this line so I'm looking at this angle right here this angle this angle right here does that angle look low if I'm gonna add 5% to this that's basically what I'm looking at that's training my eyes to see what's going on and it does look a little low so I'm gonna add a little more to it and then I have 43% for regular but I'm gonna add 5 and when I say add 5%, that's what I generally try to do, is just add five. I keep the 5%, four or 5% con constant. That way I don't have to worry about changing it. If I need to change something, it's just my aim. So add the 5%, maybe a slight misting, and we ram it in. And, and that's where it just comes into practice, understanding what you're seeing, um, and slowly getting your eyes adapted to what's happening with the greens, so forth and so on. 
Um, so, and just, it just takes, you know, recognition over and over, practice, 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 giving it your best, you know, understanding what you're learning, what you're seeing, and then build on it. All right, and here we are on our last little ramp putt hole. This is gonna be number two, the normal pin, the left pin. And so when we add all this up right here, we get 8.9, which is nine. So it's gonna be roughly in this ballpark right here. And then my power is 35%, but I'm gonna hit it 40%. So again, looking at this line, seeing how the ball comes off the white line, breaking into the aim. I wanna say, you know, is that enough? I might need to drop it down just slightly if I'm adding 5%. I'm gonna hit this 40, 41, slight late misting. And that's how we're ramming it. So, all in all, just taking into account what the numbers are on the green and then doing your quick little calculation here. You know, if it's uphill, subtract the elevation. If it's downhill, add the elevation. And then from there, you can slowly develop how to create your game around that by adding the 5%. And then from there, learning how are you seeing the line as opposed to the hole. That way, if it looks a little low, maybe add a little. Um, but you gotta be careful. You don't want to add so much to where the ball goes right past the hole, and then you have a six, seven foot putt for par, and you think, well, I just put myself in a bad position. So practice with four or 5% more power than normal to start off with, and then slowly develop your eyes so that you can see what's happening with the green, and then make notes. Um, that way, when it happens again, you have what you need to sink the putt. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'll see you all soon. Take care.